What is going on guys? It is Trifecta J here with episode 12 of my Kings My GM and we have some bad news. Damari Carroll has a torn calf muscle and he will be out for four to six weeks. So with only one active small forward, we went out and signed Robert Covington, a great shooter to a one-year deal and also extended Ray McCallum to I believe it was about four and a half million dollars a year on two years with a player option for the third and DeMar Kill and Nick Stauskas are both pretty close to being back. They may be back next week. It will be probably pretty close. They might be day to day by that point. We'll definitely have to see. But this Suns is another new look team. They drafted Jaleel Okafor with their first round pick. I think he was the second pick. They lost Goran Dragic to the Hawks. He We played against him in the last episode. And they have Zoran Dragic starting at the shooting guard position. Eric Bledsoe still their point guard. And Isaiah Thomas, the former king, coming off the bench. But Okafor wins the tip. And now swinging the ball around. Going down low to Cousins. He's working inside. Great move right there. And he puts that shot in to give the Kings a early 2-0 lead. Now Dragic working. He goes with a step back for three. And that is good. Dragic is really improved. I don't know how good he is in real life, but in this game, he just torched us all game. But now, this is something that I really like about how Drew Holiday's game is he has a little bit of a post game. Like, he can bully smaller guards. Like, I went to the post a couple times against Isaiah Thomas, who's like 5'9 compared to 6'4. That's a huge height advantage. But now, Jaleel Okafor, who might be the next, I don't even know, probably the next star big man in the league. Hits a fadeaway jumper over Cousins. I see a little bit of similarities between the two. Neither the most athletic, but they're both very polished. Uh, they have great moves down low, great footwork. Okafor is probably coming out of or freshman year of college much better than Cousins. So we'll definitely have to see how he improves throughout when he gets drafted and everything. But now Robert Covington, our new signee, great ball movement right there. As he shoots the corner three and gets that to go. But now Isaiah Thomas working on Montrez Harrell. And Harrell just gets lost on that play. And we're nearing the end of the first quarter now. Covington for three. Misses it but Harrell's there. And he goes back up and makes up for the points he just gave up. And now down by one. Sin Thornwell driving in. Pulls up and with a hand in his face knocks that shot down. As we get Stauskas back his minutes will definitely decrease once more. But Ray McCallum's half-court shot misses as it usually does a very evenly matched first half. Down by one, but I think we've played pretty well. Not, not a great start, but overall we've played not terrible. The Suns are actually a pretty good team. With uh, they, they actually have a bunch of bigs. Miles Plumlee's their backup. And they have the Morris Twins, who can switch to be a stretch four and even just a regular four. But either way, Eric Bledsoe with a great finish over Eric Moreland, who's playing some extended power forward minutes. Uh, I'm trying to see what I can get out of him. I feel like he could be a great rim protector and rebounder guy. He has zero offensive game, however, so we might need to pair him with a, a skilled offensive big or just play him with there is a bunch of offensive perimeter players. But either way, Marcus Morris, I think that was. I have no idea. But he drives in and hits that shot to give the Suns a two-point lead. Now up to one. And Zach Randolph has picked up his fourth foul with over six minutes left in the first half. But Drew Holiday intercepts that pass. Now working on the break. And he slams that down to give the Kings a one-point lead. Lead is still one, 39-38. Dragic driving in. And he lays that in. A nice contest, however, from Stanley Johnson. But Zoran Dragic has really improved his game. And now in the corner for Karis Levert, and that is good as the Suns lead is now up to four. Levert, a rookie out of Michigan, who I believe broke his foot and is out for the year. I know he's out for the year. I think it was a broken foot, which is sort of unfortunate for him. But now the lead is up to three, going to the high post for Montrezl Hill. He backs down Morris, and that shot is good. He does not really have, he's not a polished post scorer however he is able to back people down and then that's just pretty much an easy layup for there but now sin thornwell on the break puts that shot in and now nearing the end of the first half boogie cousins shot does not go so we're down by two going into halftime once again a very evenly matched game so far 
as you'll get a quick look right here we're shooting 75 percent from free throws i feel like we've definitely improved there 50 percent from the field the suns are shooting over 50 percent and isaiah thomas is leading with 14 points cousins has six rebounds and drew holiday has three assists not a whole lot of assists so far in this game but getting started now in the second half working on the break pass to macklemore and he slams that down the lead is now up to two on the fast break once more pass to macklemore once more and he's starting to get hot that's the way to get him going is on the fast breaks and once more to macklemore on the break again and one and that would be seven straight points for macklemore all of them on the break that's probably where he's at his best same with stanley johnson but macklemore has that perimeter shot to go along with that this team i feel we our bigs are not that athletic and they're but they're all good rebounders so they can sort of stay back get the rebounds and then outlet pass to drew holiday and then we have super athletic wings who can run the floor very well and have the lob city finisher and transition finisher i believe so they can pretty much every time they go down you have a solid chance of scoring but a great pass from Dragic on the break as the we went on a 16 to 4 run to start the second half but now okafor working down low on montrez harrell and he cannot handle him so the lead is up to four for us and stanley johnson on the break once more bounce pass slamming it down is macklemore that is an amazing slam showing off his incredible athleticism but we are up by six starting to pull away a little bit went on a huge run to start the second half but the Suns did answer back. So now up by six going into the fourth quarter. Playing very well, I would say, to start the second half. But working Miles Plumley in the game. He's in a little bit of foul trouble. There were a couple of bigs in foul trouble in this game. But Isaiah Thomas from the free throw line. He knocks that shot down. Cousins working down low. He goes up and under. And what a play. I love using him. He's probably one of my the players in the NBA who I'm a huge fan of who's not on like my team which is the Hawks but he does pick up his fifth foul right there so we would end up taking him out for Eric Moreland we need him to play in crunch time but Sin Thornwell just terrible defense right there we got lucky it was a long two as I say it Thomas kicks it out into the corner now for Morris for three and a Morris to Morris connection for three makes it a two-point game Ray McCallum working with the ball he goes inside outside to Covington three ball is good and the lead is up to five now seven minutes left great rebound from Jason Thompson pushing out on the break Thornwell with the ball he lobs it up and going with a layup right there Covington does not slam that one down but working on the break once more this time to Thompson he's down low puts that shot up and in as we we're getting a lot of our points on the break that's I feel like this team is best suited getting out in the break but now Morris has the ball and Harrell appeared to try and or actually that was Thompson tried to take a charge right there but he just completely whiffed and now Dragic on the break a great move right there goes a little hop step and then finishes past Moreland Morris on the break he's trying to get inside down low to Dragic and won a terrible foul from Jason Thompson and we'll have to see you can knock this shot down as Demarcus Cousins is back in the game with four and a half minutes left only up by one and on the break the suns do not get back and we answer quickly with our own shots now working from the elbow and that is a bank shot from cousins he pulls up right in plumley's face that gets us up by three and it seemed like every time we would score the suns would answer us right back just like that we would go down and it was pretty much a one point game for most of this time so now plumley jumps and pull up once more from cousin as he is starting to get hot it appears that rest is doing him very well but now working down low to cousins he shoots another jumper and that is good we're up by three the suns need to answer back right here and Dragic is driving down he kicks it to morris fade away and what a shot that is clutch from morris as that shot is good so now a three point lead one and a half minutes left going down inside and okafor with a little finger roll makes it a one point game now one minute and 27 seconds left drew holiday with the ball trying to get in the lane no one stopped ball and he finger rolls that in that makes it a three-point lead and demarcus cousins has fouled out of the game with under one minute left a terrible foul as we are up by one holiday trying to get in 
Macklemore for three. And it is no good. The Suns have a shot to win the game. No timeout. Actually, they have a timeout, but they'll pull up and shoot. And no good. The Kings have escaped with the victory. Very similar to the Jazz game we played. As they had a pretty good... That's a pretty good look. It's about as good of a look as you'll get on the last shot of game. But Dragic is not able to get that one to go. Two for three. His only miss from three on the day. As Cousins puts up one short of 30. And we had four more over 10. Robert Covington has actually played very well. 10 points. A couple of rebounds and assists. I hope you did enjoy this very exciting game. If you did, leave a like down below. Because I'm out.